Hi everybody. Today we're going to talk about a problem that happens when you start using a lot of snapshot dependencies when you have a lot of inter-team dependencies and that is that the build can take a long time. And I'm going to show exactly how that happens and one possible pattern that we can use to make things go faster. I call this pattern API artifacts and it was actually uh, the guy who came up with it was working uh, in a project that I was working on um, and he is the, basically the one who came up with, uh, with this whole idea. Um, so a tip, hat tip to Stolle from one of the projects that I've been working on. Um, <clears throat> so let's imagine we have this inter-component dependencies and components are developed by multiple teams, but each component requires the binary version uh, of the other components. So component two requires component one, which in turn requires component four and three. Component four itself also requires component three. Um, so with all that said, we might end up with something that looks like this. We have for each component um, its own little parallel universe, as we've seen. Each component has its own build um, chain, uh, and each component also has a tip build configuration, which we use to get the latest and best artifacts from the component after having been through all of the tests. Uh, now, if we do have that, and let's say we want to have component 2 built, this is the dependency graph we're going to have. Okay, to build component 2 CI, then we would need the tip of component 1, which requires the tip of component 4 and 3, etc., etc. Um, now, this kind of looks okay. Unfortunately, if you remember, a tip it has a snapshot dependency on all of the steps before it, which means that when you invoke uh, the tip build, it will it might actually invoke all the steps before it, and that might take a long time if all of the steps actually have to run. So instead of just running the tip, we actually run all the steps for each component. And that means that to build component 2, we might need to wait a full cycle for component 1, 4, and 3. That is way too long to wait. Um, as someone said, the time to wait is too damn high or something. Um, so how do we fix this? So we can add a new build configuration at the beginning of the build cycle for each component. And we call this public API. I just called it 5 because I might end up putting even more stuff before or after it. But I want it in terms of flow. I wanted to see the ordering. Now, the public API will compile and build just the public APIs for a specific component. Um, for example, uh, you would separate the component's public APIs from its logic and then only build that specific DLL or jar file or whatever it is. And then those public APIs get compiled really fast, but we don't run any tests for them because they're only public APIs. And so then others can consume them very, very quickly. And only then do we build the CI and unit test integration and tip. So now the dependency graph looks like this. To build component two, I need just a public API build of component one. That might take maybe just 20 seconds. I don't have to wait for the CI and unit test and integration test, etc. Uh, and which in turn only has to wait maybe 10, 20 seconds for each other component, which makes the builds much, much faster. Uh, of course, that means that we might end up getting, a, uh, what we care about is that component 2 gets the latest version of the public APIs that it's using. Because each component ha has its own little build cycle and build chain, if that component ends up not working correctly, that component's build will end up failing and the end, the, f the final build and deploy cycle for all the components together will fail. But to build a specific component, I don't have to wait a long time. If we look at the bigger picture, it might end up look like, looking like this. At the bottom, we can see the deploy chain and the system integration get has a snapshot dependency on all of the tip build configurations which is what we want because we want, when we deploy something, we want to make sure that all components have been passing all their tests. However, for each component, just to build that component to compile, we don't have to get all the tests from all the other components. So we just get the public API build configuration. 
if in the system integration we deploy we deploy the tip, the tip will also invoke the public API. Um, one other thing that we might uh, need to do is that in the CI build, uh, we might need to override stuff from public API into CI. If CI is building two projects, both the public API and other logic, it's important to copy public API into CI artifacts so that the things that are used by other components are also the things that are being published here. We want, don't want to compile things twice uh, if, we, if we have a choice. So that's basically it. We have a structure, we have uh, tip build configurations for deploying full system configurations and components, and we have public APIs for inter-component dependencies, which speed up the building of specific components uh, uh, just to get things uh, compiling, basically. And stay tuned for much more information about more uh, topics.